Mort Rosenblum's seen more than his share of disasters and scandals. He's run news bureau across the world. His latest investigation into one of nature's last great wild resources. Since the 1960s, I've, I've seen us, us being mankind, do really stupid things um, to ourselves, to our planet, to really the only neighborhood we have. And each decade, I see it get worse and worse. But since the 80s, I've been really watching it closely. And I realize now that what's really bad now are the oceans, the fish. Mort's been working with the US-based nonprofit Reporters Network, the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists, the ICIJ. Their prize-winning investigations have revealed rampant overfishing across the globe. Together, they took the investigation into the new territory, the South Pacific. I took about seven months with a, a team of some very good people, and we looked very carefully. We decided to focus on the jack mackerel, just which used to go, used to be so thick here, you could almost walk across it halfway to New Zealand. What the ICIJ investigation revealed, stocks of jack mackerel, one of the world's most important fishing stocks, have crashed from 30 million tons to three. And plans for an organization to save the fish have so far made things worse. It's a Wild West story of greed, foot dragging, and literal lawlessness. Don't know about Jack Mackerel? If you've eaten salmon, your stomach could well do. Where much Jack Mackerel ends up, the world's salmon and other fish farms, from here to supermarkets and restaurants. Los datos I have been concerned to find that the actual data suggests you will need between 5, 7, maybe 10 kilos of jack mackerel to produce 1 kilo of salmon, which is ecological nonsense. So this means that someone sitting in New York or London or Singapore who's <coughs> eating a high-quality salmon who says, well, I've never heard of Jack Mackerel. But with every bite of salmon, they're eating 10 bites, up to, up to 10 bites of Jack Mackerel. The Jack Mackerel was thought to be uh, inexhaustible. There was supposed to be a huge stock that would never end. Now it's gone. Now it's gone. And it's amazing that it's gone because, you know, it, 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 it was supposed to be there forever. The debacle really has to be placed, I think, at, at the doorstep of the world's industrial fishing fleets that simply use the system for their own advantage. Um, you know, the European fleet went from one vessel to seven very quickly, um, the Russians came in, um, the, the, the Chinese fleets came in and so on. But you know, everyone is a loser for this, and the reason for that is simply the industrial fishing fleets who treat the world as a giant chessboard um, were able to come down and decimate the fishing population in a short number of years. This was, I think, the last area in the world where unregulated fishing was allowed, because everybody used to be allowed to fish freely in the waters outside the 200-mile zone. When you are confronted with competition in an unregulated area, you can do one of two things. Either let the competition do their thing and stay put, or you can move into the area yourself. January 2012, and the nations trying to set up the South Pacific Regional Fisheries Management Organization meet for the 11th time, this year in Santiago. With no legal quotas yet set, scientists advising the organization were now seriously concerned about the Jack Mackerel's future. It's clear that seven years since the talks began, the race to fish is not over yet. If it were up to you personally, as a biologist, not as an official, what would you do to protect Jack Mackerel, not only in Chile, but across the Pacific? I think that if the next meeting of the convention scientific group demonstrates that Jack Mackerel biomass continues its downward trend, then we will have to think seriously about possibly establishing a total moratorium for some years.